In the fourth generation, Pokemon did this thing called the Physical Special Split. Uh, whether your attacks used your physical or special attack and defense used to be entirely dependent on the type of the attack. So rock was always physical, fire was always special. Here's the chart. Generation 4 made it change based on the attack. I'd call this a very, very good change. A lot of gameplay opportunities have improved. And the rest of this video will be about how bad things were before it. Just all the stupid things that used to result from it. So before they split the types, they did something similar in Generation 3, but kind of weird. Basically, they had some abilities with an effect, which if a move made contact with the Pokemon, then, uh, so like, Flame Body would burn the attacker on contact. Effect Spore inflicted a random Spore status effect on contact. Rough Skin damages the attacker on contact. They wanted to put these abilities in, but to do it, they had to determine which moves make contact and which don't, which is almost the physical special split already. Most physical moves now do make contact, and there are only six special moves now that do, Almost all of them don't. Uh, but of course, when contact was added, that was completely different because so all ice type attacks were special, so they had to define that ice punch makes contact, but blizzard doesn't. Which means they basically made the list of sp physical and special moves before making the split just for the use of a few abilities, with some exceptions like Earthquake, which is still physical but doesn't make contact, though you could argue it could be special. Anyway, it's silly seeing the work put into such a similar concept, but not the more important and beneficial concept of physical or special attack, just some minor thing that barely matters. So the obvious problems caused by this or the moves changed by it. So a move like Fire Punch used your special attack, not your physical attack. So a Pokemon like Hitmonchan was terrible at punching, but Alakazam is excellent at Fire Punch. In fact, here's a build on Smogon for overused Alakazam with Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Ice Punch. There's also a Frontier Brain Salon made an Annabelle with the same thing, showing the developers knew about Alexander's punching abilities and were okay with this. Uh, there's a lot of individual cases of moves, and so to not have to look at every individual one, we'll look at entire types at a time. So the poison type is quite bad. Uh, it used to be a physical type, but of its first generation moves, Three of them are now special, and only one was actually physical. So Acid, Smog, and Sludge, special. Poison Sting is the only one that actually got to stay physical. Um, then the one move in Generation 2, Sludge Bomb, that's special as well. And only in Generation 3, Poison Fang and Poison Tail got to stay physical. So it was... It wasn't even a physical type in what the moves actually did. Um, and so when the, so the split happened, uh, they had Pokemon that expected Poison to be a physical type, but it wasn't anymore. Like, they couldn't use Sludge Bomb, which would have been the move they wanted to use. So they had to add three new poison type moves that were all physical in Generation 4 to support the Pokemon that used to be able to use their poison type. Similar to that, there's a lot of moves added of an unusual form in the fourth generation to support that change. Like, Bug Buzz is a special bug type move they added because most bug types uh, the bug type attacks were physical, and they, most of them stayed physical. But to allow for special bug type attacks, they added bug buzz. But with poison type, they had to do that for the, the form it was originally meant to be. Um, 
Giga Impact was added to do a similar thing, because before Giga Impact, all the Pokemon were shooting a giant laser out of their mouth using their big muscles, so they wanted those Pokemon to still be able to use Hyper Beam, but with their physical attack. Some of those new moves that were added were pretty fair, like Ground, Steel, Fighting, and Psychic, where they added new attacks for the stat they used to not use, because most of their attacks stayed the same, which Bug had to. Um, and in the case of Fighting and Psychic, every move stayed the same type. Every Fighting attack is still judged to be physical, and every Psychic move was still special. Uh, I think the best on the list were Ground Steel, Fighting, and Psychic. Ground and Steel only had one, I think. Um, and there were others which were fine, but, you know, kind of mixed. But of the types, the one with the worst result for its old moves was Dark Type. Every single damaging Dark Type attack was judged to actually be physical after the split. Because previously, you had to bite with your mind powers, and your comically large fists were useless for beating up the enemy. Uh, you know, like, faint attack, thief, pursuit, knockoff. Those are all physical because they're clearly describing physical things. And then, they only added one special dark type move in generation 4 uh kind of leaving anybody that was expecting to use a special dark type attack uh just with only dark pulse it's a fairly good one at least but they also added four uh four no f six oh my god six wait one, two, three, four, five, six. They added six <laughs> physical dark type attacks in Generation 4. I didn't even count it right before. It's six. That's. What were they doing? Why did they. <laughs> with. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. They added. Like. <laughs> I think that maybe they forgot at some point. Or, like, you know, the direction changed. And so they had all these physical dark type moves, and they're like, oh no, what, <laughs> what do we do with these ones? Because uh, we'll, we'll quickly make one special dark type move. And there's still very few, actually. Um, dark type was kind of added, like, it didn't make sense for it to be special. I think it probably was just special because Ghost was physical and they gave them the same, exact same things they're super effective against. So there wasn't much difference. They just made it special instead of physical to have to be the difference. I don't know. It's pretty weird. There's also individual Pokemon affected by their stats, um, which were didn't make sense at the time. So, highlighting a few, Gengar, which wasn't bad at any point, but its typing and stats didn't fit. Gengar is entirely focused on special attack, while its types Poison and Ghost are both physical. And the Gengar line were the only Ghost types in Generation 1, which is when it was decided Ghost would be a physical type. So it's weird that they even chose to make Gengar like this. I, it could be because the only ghost type attack that used your attack stat in Generation 1 was Lick, and Licking is physical, so Ghost is a physical type. But you know, conceptually, it's not like ghosts are physical, really. They're, they really seem more special. But, um... Gengar was a good Pokemon before the split, but to be good, you entirely avoid using attacks of your own type. Just use, like, Thunderbolt or whatever, the other good special attacks instead. 
And so all the OU builds for Gengar and Smogon focus on using special attacks of other types until the fourth generation, when Gengar had Shadow Ball, and suddenly that was in the moveset. Now, a Pokemon hit very terribly by the old system is Sneasel. Sneasel is Dark and Ice type, both special types, but it has a physical attack of 95 and a special attack of 35. Uh, really, really bad. Um, it's statted like it's meant to rely on dealing very high damage very quickly which fits the ice type because ice type is weak to a lot of types it's fragile but it's super effective against a lot so if you're very fast and powerful you use that to be more powerful but well you can't do that with a physical attack because ice couldn't be physical um so Sneasel was just really bad, but the same concept in Weavile, which is stronger, but used the same idea, made it to overused in the generation it was introduced, because that one had the physical special split. Without it, Sneasel was pathetic. The last example is very close to my heart, Feraligator. Feraligator's special attack isn't as terribly low as Sneasel's, but it's clearly meant to focus on its attack, and the fact that it's a starter Pokémon makes it more important that it's, like, designed well, I think, so this feels a bit worse. Um, and so I get why it's a physical attacker. It's a big alligator that bites things with its giant mouth. Very physical. But as a water type, it couldn't use its primary type with its primary attacking stat. Well, just use other physical attacks. I mean, what's the other thing for alligator is famous for? As I just said, biting. It's a big alligator. It'll bite the enemies. But bite is a dark type move, which was all special. So it wasn't good at biting, either. It wasn't good at anything that it could do, except for Scratch, Rage, and Slash. Uh, just... That, that was all. <laughs> just three normal type moves was all it could use its primary attacking stat for. Well, outside of TMs. But who cares about those? No, nobody used. I don't know. Uh, cutting this part out.